Great. I improvise. Well, take inside this life of your own stone and push it towards something of light. I am tired of such self-denial, such pity to be paid by love that doesn't come your way. Speak of it your name, shame, and make the jury of your despicable memory find new life. Are we better than that? The little thing upon the eye to see beckons me, pulls me into Lazarus' despair. Jesus wearing a skirt and high heels and too much mascara scares the shit out of me. I take it inside where even the biblical surprise turns the pages. The rages of my life, there's nothing new to suffice. I am already built and ready for the tour. You remember the Bible, the biblical fluffer of infinity. <laughs> Take your chances, it says to me. I need more. I need to be touched a while without a smile, nothing I have to pay for. What is it about this life we lead with such courage that pushes us to the dark room of despair when we are not called out as worthy? I think we're worthy, don't you? I come against this side, this little side, this apatois of self-denial that leaves me in the darkness of tomorrow's moon. Hold me a while, smile. Touch me. Ask me to dance. Watch what I've learned when I was too small to break out of the egg on my own. I'm wriggling about. I'm shifting for this shout to come and call my name. And you without shame? Are you waiting in the darkness not to call, hold up your hand, grasp a moon or a star, gulp it down, and be the crown of your life? I don't know, babies. Do you want to do something wonderful? Here we go. The music starts. The art of it is your schedule is there, it's the heart of it, it wakes up with tomorrow's light, pushes you into tomorrow as if there's something impersonal about your schedule. You know deep down there's a crown you wear, you don't know how to share it or what to say without seeing so self-involved. You will be rejected, pushed aside for pride they say, you are your own actuary choking the life out of yourself. Here's the better part of it, Art. You know who you are. Well, at least I think you do. <laughs> you know what star you're holding on to? The little things you call in the stirrups of tomorrow before you fall, it's a soft flight. It's good for you. It's an appetite that's satisfied by the courage you find behind your heart. Your abacus will not leave you alone. It needs your numbers. The sweet song you sing, well, you should not do that alone. Walk out on the street of dreams and say who you are. If the star comes back and says they don't know your name, well, light the flame and then just walk on. Babies. I'm tired of demonstrative love taken with some sort of rose that breaks. Some suppose you are and you must take it inside as if you have no identity. You have to follow the things they say, the poetry that greets your day. You have to sign your own name from time to time. Otherwise, you're not a shrine of your life. You're just a memory, forgotten, where Lazarus gulps you in as if you never existed. Twisted? What wonderful revelry. Kiss? Oh my God, I'm embarrassed. On the lips? Hold for a while, smile. Between you and the thing you hold close to your heart, you will not fall apart. And the university of what it is your poetry demands will come as a standing ovation. How will you take that in without pushing away as if your day is not worthy of this explosion? I think if you're alive, act like it. If you survive, 
How wonderful the flag says it's another time to touch the sky and say good night. <laughs>